Hi, and welcome to the Dell Appliance for Wise V Workspace Quick Start Tool video walkthrough. My name is Manish Chako, and I perform the technical marketing function at uh, the Cloud Client Computing Division at Dell. Let me uh, go ahead and click on the Download Deployment Tool. Just a note here, if you do have uh, Internet Explorer Enhanced uh, configuration turned on you may have to turn that off to download this file and so if you go to server manager it's I have it turned off right there um, you can turn that off All right it takes me to the Dell community page for the Dell appliance for wise and shows you the two form factors that are available the rack and the tower and of course I'm going to choose the we workspace appliance once I'm on this page, I'm just going to go to the bottom, uh, skip over the uh, marketing material and click on Quick Start Tool right there. I'm going to click on that and click on Save. Going to double click on that. It's the default. Just going to click on next and click on install and finish. It's pretty straightforward. Once that's done, I'm going to the desktop and going to click on the Quick Start tool itself. All right, so this is the first page, um, the getting started page. And um, some of the uh, piece of information that you need is the, of course, Dell Appliance host IP address, which is the IP address of this uh, appliance itself. Um, you also need the management IP address uh, and this is a virtual machine that's going to be created by the quick start tool and so please make sure that this is not an IP address that's already in use. You also need the Windows Active Directory domain name as well as administrator account credentials, software license files and keys as well as media and Windows operating system installation media as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on next this is the end user license agreement of the EULA. You can uh, go ahead and read read it. And one thing to note here is all the web links are clickable. So if you do need more information on a particular section, feel free to click on it. I'm just going to go ahead and click on agree. Uh, please click on agree if you do agree and click on next. This is where you enter the IP address of the appliance. Uh, please remember that if the appliance did get its IP address from a DHCP server, the quick start tool will uh, statically assign the IP um, during the uh, installation process. Please also enter the management uh, virtual machine IP address. Uh, the Quick Start tool is going to create this virtual machine, so please make sure that you use an IP address that is not in use. You can finish up with the subnet mask, gateway, and then of course, primary DNS server as well as secondary if you have one. Use the drop down, select your time zone, and then click on next after that. Uh, please enter the administrator uh, account for your domain. and click on verify password. All right, the password is correct. I'm going to click on next. All right, I'm going to enter my Microsoft Windows Server OS license and uh, browse for my YSV workspace license file, which I have handy here. 
and I am going to click on next this is the review screen please make sure that all the information that you entered is correct once you hit deploy the quick start tool will go out and make those changes um, while the rollback is possible it is manual and tedious and should be avoided at all costs I'm going to click on deploy and then on next one thing you'll note is that <clears throat> the progress bar actually has tooltips that show you information on what tasks are being done. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here so, so that we can come back when this is done. And we're back. It's about 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. You'll notice that some of the tasks are still being run in the background, but you can go ahead and connect and um, also um, configure uh, your your base image. So I'm going to go ahead and just choose uh, to install Google Chrome. So I need to disable Internet Explorer's enhanced security option here. Let's see. Okay. Now that that's done. I guess I need to restart Internet Explorer for that to work. Let's try that again. All right. Yeah, I can just click on that. taking a few seconds to install Google Chrome here all right and that is done it's going to close that all right so um, once you've configured your applications, uh, make sure you you have all the applications that you want. And once that's done, um, click on deploy and click on next as well. You'll notice the progress bar there. Um, the tasks that are going on here are still continuing. Uh, if you hover over them, of course, you will see the tooltips. And now it shows me. <clears throat> the different applications that I want to publish I'm going to go ahead and choose Google Chrome uh, choose the ones that you want to and then of course click on next um, here is where you would would select the users I'm going to go ahead and click on browse and choose a random group feel free to select the group that you would want and click on next 
once you review your um, settings go ahead and click on deploy and then on next and then it will show you the different tasks that are being being done and of course the ones that are already completed you'll notice that these have arrows that you can actually expand on and it shows you exactly what was done um, so for example on configure host settings it shows you the sub steps one two three four five six that were completed as part of that configure host settings and it kind of shows you the different tasks that it has automated for you there you go I'm going to minimize them back I'm also going to take a pause now and let that finish and come back once that's done and we're back so it looks like it was um, roughly about 16 minutes there I'm going to go ahead and click on next and before I do that I just want to point out again that you can uh, see the different steps that were that were taken. Um, so it kind of shows you all the steps that uh, you saved having to do manually with the quick start tool. Click on next here. And uh, we're almost done. Uh, all you have to do now is click on the web access link and access your applications. I'm gonna click on that. brings you to the V workspace page. I'm gonna just log in here real quick. All right, V workspace connector for Windows not installed. I'm gonna go ahead and click install on there. while that's working of course we can always go ahead here and click on finish and uh, you'll notice that on the uh, the web access link uh, you'll see the application that we published and I'm just gonna click on it real quick And there you have it. You just published an application using the Quick Start tool for the Dell appliance for Wise V Workspace, um, eliminating quite a few steps and time taken. Hope this was helpful. Thank you.